what is happening traders let's let's bring about some life into technical analysis right here wednesday today pretty bad in terms of engagement to be honest with you most of the social media engagement just simply dumps down like bitcoin dumped down yesterday in the market so hit that subscribe share this video hit that like as well share this video because guys this, right now this community is pretty small tiny closely packed and you guys are going to be the ones to actually spread the word out and well i i do have a lot of things lined up for crypto educator so help me out spreading the word help me out reaching more more and more people and well just share basically right just share because who doesn't like free content free information <laughs> everyone all right so btc bouncing off nicely off of the 21 simple moving average and now we can actually call this dump the square dump because square bought around 170 million dollars worth of btc at the 21 daily moving average right here around 47 to 45 thousand zones and well bringing about much confidence in the market back again to an extent not that much but certainly to an extent and well <laughs> this is one of the patterns that i really want to talk about today now this is this is um, i'll just simply draw this one in some yeah in in All right. So what what generally happens is in a trending market, Bitcoin is trending like this, doing something like this, going up, and when you come to a inflection point where the momentum is really up high, and then you consolidate, you fail to break out above, and you go like this now. Something like this happens. You come back to some major key areas, forty five thousand in this case right now today. Then what happens is that you start consolidating something somewhere like this. and then you start making these highs right here so all the highs or oh, sorry all the lows right here they start shifting the gears towards the upside and this is the price action pulling away from you and this is the price action going away from the people who sold at the bottom right what generally happens is that it's certainly going to trend and then we got to have a last leg move up then we just take this previous high right here and then we start consolidating for a while maybe come down a bit and then we finally uh, start breaking the range towards the upside so what do we have here we have here we we have a squeeze kind of formulation after the dump right here confirming um, confirming the fact that the market is in uptrend by creating lows that are higher than the previous ones right all right let's just simply get rid of all of this let's just simply jump into the price action right here now this is what i was talking about this is what i'm talking about now any bottom formulation in low time frames is going to be like this it's going to be extremely volatile now i had tweeted back there back uh, back up during these levels when uh, this was kind of like a bottom formulation but then i did talk about the fact that we did break out and then we had a swing failure pattern right here so this was completely invalidated but well now this right here is a more matured and a more uh, encapsulated price action bottom formulation right here because we did test this area of liquidity at 45000 around four to five time guys and we did not break below it we simply did not break uh, break below it i mean the prices were steeply coming down again and again and again to these zones i mean uh, a lot of long positions holding their breath as the prices were coming here but yes uh, you were getting picked up back again and again and again so guys what happens after this kind of formulation right here the rsi creates lot a lot of bullish divergence right here and then you start making these structures of higher lows right currently this one is being formulated now this one could certainly break down but watch for this low to be taken down so now you can start managing your risks around uh around this low right here so if you see bitcoin closing 4 hour um 2 hour or maybe higher time frames 12 hour closures as well below this liquid zone around 46800 then you would want to be retesting this support back at 45 again and if you lose 45 then there is not much stopping until 40 but it looks to me like 45 was uh, was bid in a pretty amazing fashion right here and and this price action looks quite neat as to again and again how the prices prices were coming here but unable to break below the 45000 levels now this means strength coming off of this zone and as far as we're maintaining this structure we're going to be going up and as i was talking I, I, and as i was trying to draw that kind of price action right here now this is something like this right and then you could eventually traverse your way up there but first and the foremost retest would be the 54000 zones as this was um, this is a significant area guys we have we have uh, 
we did take down fifty thousand. I mean, uh, uh, supposed to be a selling interest right here, but uh, we have taken down fifty thousand, and then we are make we are formulating this kind of a bottoming kind of structure. Uh, sorry, sorry, a higher low kind of structure right here. So we have kind of taken down the fifty uh, k zones. Now watch for uh, this area. to hold as as if this area does not hold this could mean that we are going to be retesting this part and this could mean that this is yet another swing failure something like this right you try to trend to the upside but then you just simply fail breaking the support and then you come back into the zone of uh, well all the shit fucks and <laughs> bad bad piece of price action right there but i guess i mean as far as we are maintaining the structure right here at 50000 now acting as a support um we are good bitcoin is probably going to be good and if bitcoin Uh, stays above 50k uh, we can talk about ethereum also picking back up now fundamentally bearish as i'm i'm totally bearish on ethereum in terms of fundamentals guys i'm uh, i'm fundamentally fairly bullish on bnb binance chain guys um, the things that binance chain is doing uh, is, is 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 everything defi but with low fees like but, but negligent amount of fees guys <laughs> so yeah why not be bullish on bnb so why not hedge your ethereum exposure against bnb right any which ways uh as as btc was trying to formulate its bottom around the 45000 zones watch how ethereum's lows were getting higher and higher it is only because the btc pair on ethereum also started formulating its own bottom right so that's why that's why the prices were simply picking up in a better manner than the than the btc price action so you can uh, you can certainly bet on the fact that the up move coming on ethereum is going to be little significant it's going to be little um how do i say fast paced it's going to be it's going to be faster than bitcoin basically right so uh, so w w what do we what do we see here we see a simple support resistance confluence and um, well this was the support flip right here in the early morning hours uh, and this one being a major one as this was actually a squeeze so now you remember guys i was uh, i was doing this uh, squeeze kind of technical analysis yesterday as this as as this was also a good looking squeeze right here but then what what happened here we failed right we never broke above the squeeze but we failed down below now this squeeze right here is breaking to the upside guys so this means that yeah things are different now um uh, we are probably formulating a bottom around the 1400 levels and i think this proves the thesis that uh, this area could be considered as a bottoming uh, area like i mean uh, the 3 day 21 simple moving average being one of the collection point the liquidity entering point uh, for the entire market and square actually bringing about more confidence into the market by actually making that uh, that purchase off of the 21 daily moving average so um, well okay now, now these hedge funds and these big organizations they do not look at the moving averages guys this was just a joke they do not open their charts and wait for the price to come to 21 simple moving average they do value investing so value investing is a completely different story altogether we are traders we have to deal with certain different things it's 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 a completely different story altogether we'll talk about that as i get into more casual way of presenting uh, videos in crypto educator any which ways uh And so this this uh, is the interim target for the day today. I mean, I think uh, if if Bitcoin is able to reach fifty four k before the daily closure today, I think Ethereum will also be trading somewhere around eighteen hundred. So now this is this is pretty much neat trade. I mean, you could uh, manage your risks below sixteen hundred ten, and then you can target a move of um, uh, all the way at eighteen hundred. So there's going to be a ten percent, nine point nine nine percent move for you guys. Um, and 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 you're, well, try to cap uh, try to capitalize on it. Now there is one more thing which I want. to talk about is that um, there's one pattern which i'm sure you guys must be looking at again and again in the markets which is which is which is the fact that we break above this grind line and then we do come back for a nasty retest <laughs> and and then we finally continue to the upside right so watch for this kind of situation to also happen i mean um, you invalidating this uh, support area to the downside would mean some red flags but until you're taking this low at 1504 so guys 1500 stays to be the bidding area and uh, the price is it for the time being it looks to me like the 1500 area was kind of bid with the uh, confidence in the market and uh, this should act as your major 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 support in the coming days and weeks as well so 1500 dollar ethereum market priced in that uh, 1500 dollar ethereum is a good form of investment and a lot of 
people did see value in Ethereum at 1500. That's why we are here at 1670. Uh, within a few hours, guys, within a few hours, we did test 1500. A lot of times, uh, market gave a lot of opportunities to get into Ethereum at 1500 levels. And as as soon as we broke above this uh, confluencing resistance support, we uh, we have initiated this, uh, this 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 trigger move at 1780 or maybe 1800 as well, guys. So Ethereum looking good. Uh, you lose below this. Watch for this line to be retested and um, ultimately watch for 1500 to hold guys that's going to be your key important zone and well 1500 uh, if 1500 is being held up uh, <laughs> if 1500 is being held up all right cool <laughs> let's take a look at some major cryptocurrencies like link not ltc guys not ltc not gonna look at litecoin <laughs> all right i'll, I'll do that okay same similar kind of price action uh, on chain link against usd as well i mean uh, that that's pretty much expected because bitcoin being the landlord bitcoin being the major major mover in the market all the eyes were at bitcoin so however bitcoin was responding off the 21 simple moving average um uh, uh, most of the altcoins are supposed to do like that uh, uh all right so in, in in chain links case this has kind of replicated the price action from ethereum as this is the three day time frame and three day time frame was a simple rejection of any price action below the 21 simple moving average basically anything below $23 was heavily bid on chain link. So now you can start managing your long term risks also on $20 chain link, right? Long term risk. Now, long term risk is something that. Um, um, Something that I wanted to talk about on Chainlink, uh, as we did have a retest of the prior all-time high previously around 22nd January. Now, this was quite unnecessary, to be honest, guys. This was uh, pulled off because of Bitcoin and, and market being extremely uncertain and whatnot. And USDT debacle again and, and all, all the Bitcoins going to exchanges. Probably all the Bitcoins that went to all the exchanges was bought up by Square, guys. Jack Dorsey fucking bought it. <laughs> all right. Okay. So what, what uh, comes next? I mean, you... Uh, basically, if you see any three-day closure below the $20 levels on Chainlink, now that could mean that Chainlink could certainly start getting into uh, these areas of interest. I'm, I'm sorry, apologies for this. Okay, so these areas of interest, around $10, guys. I, no matter whatever it sounds like, if you fail the $20 region, you could simply consolidate, some chop around the sideways, and then you could uh, come to $10 region. Now that's again a far-fetched thing, like way far-fetched, guys. This is like talking about $10 while we are sitting at 28, guys. This is a complete stupid form of technical analysis. All right, just try to understand that. Just try to understand that. You do not want to be analyzing the markets like that. You do not want to be a moon or doom guy plain simple all right in the short time frames in the small time frames have we broken above the grind on uh, chain link you could start arguing that we are attempting one right now but uh, well it's it's pretty simple for chain link as well if bitcoin is holding 50000 if ethereum is holding uh, this current breakout at 1600 then uh, then chain link will also test the higher levels the first higher level being this one right here um, at 31 the second one being around 35.420 right so the, these are going to be your potential profit taking areas if you want to be trading chain link for the day today and uh okay you can actually come and grind against this line as well in the coming days and the months and then you can try to do something against the resistance right here but as far as we are maintaining this uh, breakout structure right here above this wick this little wick right here now these ranges are humongous guys uh, let me let, let me tell you one more thing so now this entire price action range starting from 13th february to uh, 22nd february basically 10 days of price action just look at the size of these candles they're pretty small they're pretty small the volatility is not that much now guys now look at these candles pretty big pretty big right so one single two hour candle having a 10 percent volatility guys this is something that you have to stay the fuck away from if you are trading the small time frames there's no way that you're going to be nailing every single move to the upside and the downside guys um, now i'm just i'm just trying to share all the things that i used to do big time as as um, as a new trader in the market uh, i used to i used to constantly try to call the tops and the bottoms guys now the price action is right here now this is pretty much a confirmed bottom on major major cryptocurrency so now you can simply manage your risks here trading is not not a difficult business you see some you, you see some crazy bottom formulations in the market you then wait for some key areas to take place um, key events to happen for this one we are breaking above the grind and we are maintaining this breakout as well above the 27 levels so so why 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 don't you why, why would you not want 
to long above this level and 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 try to figure out where the bottom is guys because nobody knows where the bottom is you have to get that up your head all right on the early schedule yes we are doing that we are actually maintaining this breakout structure right here so link looking good above 27.3 you can start managing your risks if you close back again this resistance so we can uh, you can simply argue about the fact that uh, this one well pretty volatile low formulation right here at 24.5 usd but uh, you could argue if you break that you can come to test around these levels um at 26.00 uh if you lose that you are going to be challenging this uh, low right here and if you lose all of this you are going to be coming back down at the bottom test the 21 to 22 dollar ranges most likely chain link is going to hold up above 20 dollar regions guys 20 dollar is a good 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 long term psychological value investment zone for chain link guys uh i think i think yeah major major player in the markets and people who have been waiting for chain link to do something like that um uh, to to wait um, pay people who have been waiting for chain link to dump down uh, did did uh, get hold of chain link at 20 dollar levels and and pretty nice actually and uh, let me know if you also got uh, chain link around those levels congratulations to you you kind of picked up the bottom <laughs> now you look at these areas like 20 usd regions as value investing point not not in terms of timing the bottom and taking a futures long position you do not want to do that you'll get wrecked most of the times most of the times okay chain link is done now let's jump to ltc as well guys because um, what let's jump on to binance on because yeah uh, litecoin is certainly one of the major and uh, well if market is doing something why would litecoin not do something like that so yeah you can start managing your risks right here now as you can see most of the market is in complete synchronization right now everybody is dancing to the same beat and most of the most of the cryptocurrencies are grooving on to the same prices um, and and this one being formulated right here at 178 279 zones anything any closure below this level could mean that litecoin could come back to test 161 back again guys litecoin came back all the way to 157 invalidating most of these lows guys <laughs> invalidating invalidating everything so so what what can you actually what can you actually conclude from this price action right here litecoin is a piece of shit number one number two that this accumulation range should hold as a long term support all right so now if you're coming drastically back to these accumulation ranges now this is this is going to be your main 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 investment stop loss investment stop loss guys like buying litecoin and forgetting about it okay buying litecoin and forgetting about it now if you see value in ltc you, i mean i mean yep yeah. Uh, these regions of reaccumulation right here could certainly um, could certainly play out pretty amazingly in the coming days and months uh, litecoin looking at uh, 5x all the way at $1000 Uh, okay somewhere here at at $1000 somewhere um down the line about the year end or something like that now most of the people on um, on twitter are calling for litecoin to hit 50 not not 55k usd i think that's a far fetched opinion litecoin uh Litecoin. What can you do with Litecoin? Not much, guys. Just a value investing, just like Bitcoin. I mean, you can't do much with. Well, you can wrap your Bitcoin in Ethereum and start swapping it on Uniswap. Now that's a different thing altogether. But you can't do that with LTC. I think you can do WLTC swaps also on Uniswap. I don't know. I don't know. But uh, not much use case in real life for Litecoin. This is why this lags every single time. This is why when the dips take place, you'll see Chainlink. You'll see Polkadot. You'll see Ethereum, Ethereum. You you'll see most of these assets getting getting picked up like this, all right. Whereas LTC comes down and goes like L only, man. I mean, <laughs> goes something like this. So this tells you that uh, the dip buying on Litecoin is always weak, guys. There's some fundamental problem with Litecoin, and uh, Litecoin is always going to be the laggard. So for the time being, until the Litecoin BTC pair. uh kind of flips its way about now we did make new uh, lows in the binance <laughs> price action um and we yeah yeah we completely <laughs> what a waste guys what a waste i mean no no kind of no kind of signs of reversal as of now on the ltc btc ratio i mean yes this could have been this could have been a good argument for litecoin reversal but then look at this fuck off candle right here right after breakout attempt guys it just simply failed and you wigged below this low right here this is devastating this is nasty this is not good um so i i, I think i think trading ltc into btc is just a uh, 
not worth your time and effort so what would you want to be looking at you want to be looking at these levels to take and down which is going to be at 500000 satoshis you want to be closing three day candles above 500000 satoshis then you want to talk about litecoin going to the moon right a um, lot of people are also suspecting that um, uh, ltc against btc will try to go at its all time high now that's a pretty valid argument because the intensity of this bull run is going to be certainly crazy and the craze for cryptocurrencies will certainly come guys litecoin will pump all right litecoin will pump there is no way that it won't go to the moon <laughs> it will go to the moon but you have to have lots of patience for litecoin guys lots of patience it, it's 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 the lagger now this video is turning out to be uh, something more about litecoin only but but uh, yeah most of the people are suspecting that it's probably going to go towards the all time highs which it, which it uh, well historical all time highs uh, the 2018 high being at 0.023 basically 2.3 million satoshis um, and the 2015 high being at the same 2.4 million satoshis and this one being the <laughs> this one being the initial dump this would be the initial area of distribution right here so basically yes this is the area of interest a lot of people are suspecting that yeah this bull run could take litecoin btc ratio all the way up there now the problem is the problem is when the fuck do you long it like when, when can you stay confidently long into litecoin i think i think <laughs> first and foremost first and foremost thing is this one right here as far as rejecting the 21 simple on the three day time frame guys i always keep three day time frame into big 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 consideration most of the times because most mostly cryptocurrencies they do react good in the three day time frame the macro trend behaving structure right so just watch what happened every single time litecoin reversed you closed above it and then you did not close below it guys just this was simple reaccumulation every single time you were getting picked up and similarly somewhere right here as well you were getting picked up most of the time not losing below it after the closure this is what you want to look at all right so this one being a failure this one being a complete swing failure determined by this candle right here and a follow-through as well so yeah this one was a failure right here but yet again right here you want to be looking at this kind of price action uh this is L is ltc doing something like that no fuck no it's not it's, it's nowhere close to doing something like that so ltc against btc which is the key indicator of an accelerated move to the upside uh, for for uh, for any crypto asset um, the btc ratio until that flips around there is no there's not going to be much velocity movement in uh, litecoin guys this is the sad truth sad and the ugly truth about litecoin and um, uh, well as far as they're below this kind of dead and trending resistance then that's also another um, another problem i would say all right if we do reverse from this point and let's just say if we start heading towards the all-time high in the next four to five months going to be a 550 percent now 550 percent on uh, 200 um 200 usd something like that let's just check out let's just check out how much would that be 550 percent from these current levels <laughs> okay in a far-fetched analysis fucking moon boy analysis uh well this is going to be yeah this is going to be uh, 1200 to something dollars per litecoin now that's a pretty realistic target as far as we are holding on to the structure and as far as actually we are maintaining this breakout above 137 dollar region guys this is a pretty significant one on macro ltc usd pair uh you break below this probably ltc will gapuchulate guys uh yeah yeah i can say this with um, yeah i can say that with confidence i mean yeah you would see massive 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 bear market kind of selling coming in at litecoin if you break the 120 dollar region to the downside so that is going to be your that, that is something which is going to be your investment stop loss as well guys get the fuck away from litecoin if it breaks below 120 once again guys there is no point staying at litecoin all right uh what's next let's check out neo as well what's neo doing all right so neo is picking up in a similar fashion now this is one thing which i which i was just talking about how litecoin is unable to be like performing something like this in terms of reversal price actions but uh, neo on the other hand yes real use case yes it's a hedge against ethereum so it's picking up to the upside now similar price action targets similar movements going to be 50 dollars up to the upside and if you lose 39 dollars then you come and back you come back and test 35 dollars now pretty simple right there right let's check out some icx as well okay massive bullish engulf candle right here at icx coming in uh, from uh, 1.5 dollar region breakout and uh, well this area also 
being a good liquidity entry point so you can start managing your long term risks as well on litecoin on these levels as far as we are maintaining this high right here all right so this one getting picked up pretty nicely i mean yeah a lot of interest coming in at uh, icx it's pretty nice to look at this price action right here okay so breaking above it fine uh, you have the first area of target as 1.85 second area is going to be one uh, so, sorry 2.11 most likely happening today and the third area is going to be 2.4 right pretty simple things are pretty simple for icx as well you want to trade it trade it with caution because it's certainly extremely volatile guys let's take a look at bnb as well because why the fuck not all right bnb um kind of meeting the first target right here at 271 um after this grind breakout similar kind of structure yet again so the entire market is kind of form formulating the same structure after formulating the bottom coming out um, coming at these points right here so bnb also doing uh, <laughs> bnb also doing nicely and uh, well this grind breakout is certainly bullish as fuck because you can argue about the fact that we are breaking against this grind as well and this is a good looking channel for you guys right here guys uh mhm mm interesting uh yeah we now bnb behaves like this against these kind of channels you see this channel right here after immediate bullish momentum right here you you formulate a channel and then you start trending to the upside your trend bearer being the is that the 200 the, that's the 21 on the early 21 you start trending to the upside guys uh, after the channel breakout so uh here's what is going to happen in bnb if bnb keeps on maintaining this high right here at 235 if you're above this if you're closing early candles above it you're probably maintaining the 21 simple moving average as well and you want to be trending to the upside in a good way uh what are going to be your targets your targets are probably going to be first towards this high right here this area of liquidity exit um around 340 dollar levels and um, this one being at 303 303 being a little insignificant because well you could argue that it's a psychological point of resistance but uh, i don't think the price action would stop right here you simply jump on to uh, 340 dollar levels if you break the 340 levels now this would start looking like a bull flag like a continuation like a good continuation move to the upside and the breakout targets would simply point out towards the fact that bnb is headed towards 450 usd won't that be nice guys won't that be nice uh, people have started realizing that ethereum is exp extremely expensive and Guys, watch how the hedging against Ethereum happens. Watch how the altcoin space explodes even further. That is what is going to happen. This is something which happens again and again. Now this is will happen again. Most of the people will start distributing their Ethereum in different cryptocurrencies. So watch for alt again Ethereum as well. All right. Well, I think this is pretty much it for today's analysis. BNB looking good on the macro as well. At three day, there is no sign of uh, momentum breakdown uh, on the on the RSI. Well, you're way extending the RSI, but but as I mentioned before, um, you can simply trend above this level for a very long time and still not dump down, still not formulated top. This is not a top formulation. This is like a consolidation formulation. We could uh, hover there for a little while, but ultimately uh, move up if you consolidate here for a long time. Right. All right, guys. I guess this this has been a good market update for you guys. I hope you got. I hope you have a little more clarity as to what to do today, tomorrow, and the coming and and probably in the coming weeks. So hit that subscribe, go for that like, and well, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Bye for now.